Right, so here we've got a basic setup for uh, video feedback. Uh, we've got the camera, this is about 120 degrees. We've got the monitor, the whole thing's going through the video mixer down there. And the mixer is very, very important because it allows me to fine tune the feedback. It is quite difficult to get feedback right. You've got to find a, a kind of sweet spot in between the exposure, the uh, alignment on the, between the camera and the screen and the uh, the angle that it's at and there we go and as you can see if I f if I seed it by putting something in the way we get it to feed back quite merrily and if, if you get it at just the right point it'll carry on for quite a while until the feedback disappears and you get this sort of very repetitive kind of thing going off we've lost all the all the detail in there so let's just try uh, some of the fine tuning and see if we can get it to feed back a little bit better. This is, oh, that's the focus. There we go, here's the zoom. As you can see, uh, you do get a nice effect when you zoom, but the decay is almost instantaneous. So you just have to try and find the, like I say, the sweet spot. And you'll get a bit of duration out of it before it breaks down into nonsense. Ah, here we go, that's nice. So what's actually going on there? I'm controlling the saturation on the mixer. I've also got the uh, positive and negative effect on. As you can see, it's, it's flaring far too much without it. Uh, if I do turn this neg on, it makes the image strobe in this sort of weird way so that it's constantly fighting against itself. And I'm also uh, I'm controlling the overall video levels with the fade control in this just to get it at a point where it's not sort of going too crazy with itself. And I can also switch in the downstream key here which really does make this thing go mental. Yeah this is the very best thing about the MX-50, the, the downstream keying is incredible for uh, video feedback. Once you get it right, you really can just let this thing go and it'll carry on and on and on and on and on. And eventually it'll run out of ideas, but uh, not until you've had a lot of fun in the meantime. And once it does get a bit repetitive, you can just reseed it by putting something in the way. And off you go again. The last thing you can do with the downstream key is just turn the video off completely and just leave the uh, the key in and uh, set the levels here and you should be able to find a point where it'll start going absolutely nuts all on its own. Don't be frightened to uh, try a few different camera angles. And that's about it really. So just take it into After Effects, center it up, line it up and away you go.